And Dominion Voting Systems defamation trial against Fox News Channel is underway after a couple days of a delay. The company is now suing Fox for $1.6 billion, claiming the network knowingly aired false claims that its voting machines were rigged against former President Donald Trump in the 2020 election. ABC's Justin Finch has the story. In Wilmington, Delaware, the high-stakes defamation trial against Fox News Channel begins today. Fox attempting to defend itself from Dominion Voting Systems' $1.6 billion lawsuit alleging Fox knowingly aired false claims about the voting machine company following Donald Trump's 2020 election loss. Fox lawyers calling the suit a political crusade in search of a financial windfall. Dominion arguing Fox News host and its guest wittingly and repeatedly smeared its reputation with false allegations that Dominion rigged his voting machines to ensure a Joe Biden victory in 2020. There has been a massive and coordinated effort to steal this election. Former Trump attorney Sidney Powell appearing on Fox several times making claims the judge has already declared were clearly false. Vox host Tucker Carlson later texting Powell saying, I hope you will prove that very soon. If you don't have conclusive evidence, it's a cruel and reckless thing to keep saying. But days later, Carlson saying this on TV. You've heard a lot over the past few days about the security of our electronic voting machines. And this is a real issue. Dominion argues Fox knowingly broadcast false claims about the election and the voting machines to boost its declining viewership. The trial resuming now after delays on Friday and Monday, which the judge did not explain. But the Wall Street Journal, also owned by Rupert Murdoch, reports the interruption came as Fox was exploring, possibly settling the case. And top Fox News hosts and executives are expected to testify during the trial and a white tent has been set up to block the view of witnesses entering and leaving the court. Justin Finch, ABC News, Wilmington.